acquitted last night to the circle. I thought you said you were acquitted last night. I thought you were acquitted. That too. <laughs> Both. Darren Evans. My name's Jeff Blair. Greg Sayabone. He has, a, he has a proper pronunciation of his name, but I've said it wrong for so many years it feels like I'm putting on airs. But it's Saye Bone, and this is him. Hi. <laughs> this is Jeremy Byrne. Oh, to be here, thank you. Jim Lardale. Amy. Formerly, what, what? Now, career. You said it right, career. Wow. <laughs> there's some, I'm, there's some psychological impediment I've been having to say my own last name lately, <laughs> for maybe the last 11 years. I don't know why. So many people have mispronounced our name that I kind of stopped saying it <laughs> at all. So, anyway, it's career. Yeah. <laughs> And it, Thank you, it, used, it used to have a little pride associated with it. I think that's what's really, uh, <laughs> that's what's really making it so it's hard, hard to pronunciate anymore. But uh, anyway, that's just a little what joke. What are you saying? <laughs> We're going to start off with Kisikola here. We're going to sing a song. <laughs> This song is called Every Day's Christmas. It's got a great sing-along with some good voices up here. Like, you and I was meant to be. We're on this uh, planet. And um, this is what I realize is that I can't save the planet, but the planet can save me. And how I mean by that is for us to align ourselves with it. Let it heal us. Let us the waters and the winds and the air heal us. And that's how it saves us. And I think that's the thing, is that we got to be allowed to be saved. And we've tried to save it. So that's my preaching today. Can I get a little bit more monitor in my guitar? Okay. Kive. Every day's Christmas. Every day's New Year's, Halloween, Valentine's Day, Hanukkah, Earth Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, every day is Indigenous Day. You and I was meant to be on the same side. Same ride forever in our dreams. This is a comic part of everybody like making comic noises. Cheers part coming up. Every day's Christmas, every day's New Year's, every day's a holiday in cheer. Cheers. A little bit slow, it's Sunday morning. Every day's Christmas. Was man. 
to get on that big silver bird at the Ithaca Airport. And so Richie can take my seat. And also we should get you a sand. Yeah. Um, but I can wait, I mean, I can, you know, wait. I want to enjoy, I want to savor as much as I can. i tell you what, as we're, we're just bouncing, you know, we're going to do an unusual thing. We're going to go bounce, 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 bounce. Because it's too, even though it's a semicircle, it's a line. It's a little dull just to go see how long. So we're going to get, and also we want to make him last. It's good for his sense of self. You're talking about Richie? It's in the contract rider. Yeah. Well, he rides on the caboose, and that is the last part. Right, of and we want to make sure Richie lives in the caboose, and we want Gregor to go just after that. Oh, I so, don't want Gregor. Well, anyway, let's have Amy sing us a song. Make go second, all right. All right, well, I'm just going to say that um, that I have not been singing much during these days. I sang a lot for the first few months of the pandemic, and then I kind of just got quiet. And um, this song is kind of about that, and I'm really happy to be sharing my voice up here with you guys. I'm a little nervous, but I know I belong. I know I do. I still do. So this song is um, actually from the perspective of my husband, Ward, who I, I've never written a song from his perspective, so it's about me. <laughs> but actually, this is about me, but from his perspective, so, <laughs> so it kind of works. It's very generous of you. <laughs> do that.
was doing, uh, he had a TV show back then. It was a really good program. And it had Patty Loveless, uh, uh, Ralph Stanley, and uh, I think Bruce Hornsby. And then uh, there was some country singer that Christy had a crush on, but I can't remember his name. He was really famous. Vince Gill. It was Ben Skill. <laughs> yeah. She didn't have a crush on Jim Lauderdale? No, not at that time, because she had not seen him yet. And, uh, and, and, uh, and Jim, at that point, Patty Lovelace had a hit with Halfway Down, which is Jim's song. And Jim writes in Nashville. He's, a, he's, a, he's the, actually the only real songwriter up here, as it turns out. <laughs> no, that's just a little joke. But anyway. He, it's, it's just been super cool to get to know you and, and uh, so on and so forth. And, and, uh, and so he sang half, half by halfway down and back up sang the other half. Anyway, I remember just seeing it's like, wow, this guy's, there he is. He's doing it. He's fucking up. Oh, it's really cool. And, uh, anyway, and he writes hundreds of songs that he's going to play for one for you now. Thank you so much. How great this weekend has been for all of us. And, uh, we, this has been the best ever. Guys, had never done anything good in your lives, but you've done many things, but just this having us together. Oh. Oh. Well, I'll uh, do one and then <clears throat> relinquish my seat to the gentleman from the great state of New York, which he's done after this. And uh, but thank you all so much. It's just so... This, Seeing you folks and hearing this great music, that is, you know, shows the beauty of life. It can be there after all we've been through. Mm -hmm. I want to do a song that we like to do together, and it's a song I got to write with Robert Hunter. Going. Don't 
time ago. Well, it's nice to be here. I don't normally join in on these semicircles. I mean, it's usually a board stuff. I'm usually asleep. But this year is different, so here we are. It's called call to, call to arms. Um, during the pandemic, I tried writing many times, and it was pretty, very uninspirational time from my point of view, for me personally. Um, so one thing I did was I kind of went back over, you know, I store up melodies, ideas that I come up with, and so I have these slews of those, and I went back and I found this melody with one line, and I thought, wow. And, and at the time that I did that, the rest of it didn't come out somehow. It just happens, you know. But um, this time I opened it up and I looked at it and this just came up. <coughs> Feel free to sing along if you like it.
sitting on that seat over there. <laughs> um, all right. Another person I discovered a long time ago that I'm really super excited about. The person, you know, in my life is Richie Stearns. Yeah. It, was also, it was also dark and super cool when we met. And um, I was once a child, and I had the, as a, we had the rambling house filled with, well, there were six of us kids, and, uh, and it was also the house where people tend to gravitate towards, the, it was a lot of, it was super fun, and I had, the, I'm sorry to everyone that had an unhappy childhood, I had the greatest childhood, I, I think, anyone's ever had. It was so great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Richie was part of that, of course. And so, very young, but anyway, everybody rode around in my motorcycles on, in Brooklyn. And we were the worst neighbors anyone would ever have. But I was just a kid, so I wouldn't It was very common to, to put the biggest speakers we had in the in the windows facing out and play music as loud as we wanted. And of course I was only five or one or three. But and then uh, rode uh, two stroke dirt bikes all over the place, just as loud as hell. Constantly. And uh, I would make the sound except I'm losing my voice and get that but I could imitate pretty good. But anyway, Richie made a banjo in shop class and I think or something like that. And then he would, well, this, we could go on forever about all this stuff, but we'd also go here, Mac Benford and the Hollywood String Bands and the Craig Jones over here at the Cosmos. And so that was, that was a big thing. And then uh, Richie started playing the banjo and he never took it off. It was always on his back and he hitchhiked everywhere. And lots of various women would invite him over. So he he disappeared for several several days and then he'd show back up. But he never, he never the banjo was always there. And so don't forget the big bag of shopping bag of pot. That was Terrace. But and then uh, so what an introduction. Yeah, you know, this is right. That's pretty good. But Richie was Richie was the uh, my lawyer's name is Chuck. <laughs> He converted the whole gang over the music. So, and we'd probably be in jail if it weren't for him. So. The last thing we'll say about Richard Stern, my son John said, by far the best songwriter in this game. Yeah. Ouch. Does that mean it's my turn to play? No, Jeremy Bird, everybody. <laughs> Here's a song that I'm not sure I'll remember all the words to anyway, but I could feel like playing it. So, so I'll play the music and see if the words come back. It's about an uncommon relationship between a bird and a bear.
once a bear And a raven Dream the dream To make it true They dreamed of love A love of many colors Beneath the sky Of 
My golden bear Can you feel the winds blowing Through the broken glass In your hair Through the broken glass For that service, yeah. yeah. You gotta you gotta pay attention to the micro micro miracle there. Uh, all right. Let's see. Yeah. Let's take that and, uh, Is our friend Jeremy Bird? Quite often, uh, been hanging out down in Nashville. Jeremy lives in Nashville, and uh, and uh, we quite often have dinner and sing songs. We make him sing, and usually once we get him started, we make him keep singing because we don't have to sing after him. <laughs> Jeremy Bird.
discovered Gregor's well similar to Richie he would I first noticed him he thought and what made, remind me of Richie that he always had a guitar on he was young he hitchhiked everywhere and uh, Eddie had has a band called the Talk To Me's. They're one of my favorite groups. And, and uh, we've been hanging out, writing songs together, stuff like that. But super cool. It was also dark. <laughs> I'm super happy having to follow up Jeremy Bird right now. Just very really happy with play. Fortunately, you're in peak physical condition. <laughs> Thank you. 
the kitchen Making love to her ring Sisters in the mirror again Looking for a king To come and take her away I was born in 1940 On this here good old Georgia dirt Come three months early, I guess I just couldn't wait my turn. Dad said that I could fit in the pocket of his shirt. And my mom said I was a boy the good Lord saved. My given name is Randall, after some uncle up in Laverne. I come up as itchy on account of how I set to work. Or maybe it's this restless leg or the manner of my birth. But I don't put too much stock in names. Pocket watch, granddad gave to me. Old folks called him cowboy, say he's the best rounder they'd ever seen. Now he's tying Honda knots and roping angels eternally. And I intend to be there someday. You can call me country. You'd be right, I suppose. You can call me backwards. You can look on down your nose. But St. Peter, don't judge a man by his color or his clothes. And I'm just trying my best to make a grade. Well, Daddy's done praying. There are no clouds left in this land. Mama filled our bellies with baked beans and ham. And that mirror ain't got no king. I bet she'd settle for a man to come and take her away. That was fun. We'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't have a lot of voice, but we'll see what happens here. Yes. 
Sometimes you're paying your dreams Baby knows what the numbers mean Well the spirit Cast upon the scene Spark oxygen And the seven I can feel it now Raising in the night Just fools break the honey, shades of every ooze and bleed. How I'm wrong to engage in our dense simplicity. Be with me in the fabulous yesterday, in the shine of the breeze, but the things felt to never know except to run. That bridge be not a tall, born just as far from home, the heart so let mine. Seven times, with this train of heartache, fingers in a vice, my blood is pounding in the fever of your life. The light I loud Whisper from the joke I told you so In the shine of an eye Breeze and bush comes in the belt, but never know set to run. My braids and all the tone, or just as far from home, my heart, soul, and mind. Second time, bring it, leaves are falling, water's getting high. Been my pleasure, been my dream. Did we know this was we noticed me? So get Keith, Keith back his guitar. Um, I might have told this story once or twice, but since I've never seen any of y'all before, and probably won't ever again, I'll tell it the same story. But <laughs> no, uh, our friend Shane, who grew up playing uh, old time music with, and and. He, his mom moved out to Arizona. Me and Jordan took the Greyhound bus when I was, I don't know, six or something uh, out to Arizona. And I've never seen a mountain before. It's it quite impressive, especially after three days on a bus. People are like, whoa, look at that. But so, but he had a cassette tape of Keith Sokolis. And uh, it was, it was great. We listened to it all the time. And so, when we started grassroots, um, I used to do a fair amount of work in the office, uh, and I had this cassette, a piece of colas, and I saved it, and I threw it in the desk that I, that I worked at. And one day, I, I have a um, book at the festival, you know, calling people, trying to, and uh, I think maybe my brother Jude was like, oh, you get a piece of gold, you know. I was like, what are, the, what are the chances of getting Keith Sokola? You know, I was like, let's go. <laughs> it's like, so anyway, one day, just in the office, I'm 
freaking to looked at the cassette and had a phone number on it. I dialed it up. Oh, it was, it was Keith. And that uh, sort of surprised at the simplicity of things. <laughs> uh, and so he, he came to grassroots and uh I totally knew it was going to be great, but uh, certainly didn't expect to develop a lifelong friend and some by this really, you know, there's many architects to our way of life that we, we're creating here at Grassroots, and Keith Sakola is one of those people that's the architect of this way of life. So thank you so much. This song is called Throwing Prayers Over the Edge of Time. And, uh, the Pueblo Indians have a ceremony and they have these prayer sticks that they have carried during their ceremony and dances. When, we're done, when they're done, they go up to the Laurentian, the divide, the continental divide, where Jeff seen his first mountain. And they throw their prayer sticks over the edge of time. And so this is where this song came from. I've been down this road before. I'll be down one more, my friend. Walk with me for a while. Let me hear you laugh. Tell me what you see Whisper secrets from the other side Show to me Don't try to hide Wait for me when I arrive This dream is our life this dream is our life. You've been through the sound before, and here you are back once more. Time to leave it all behind, my long lost friend. You're looking for treasures from the misty mountainside. Let me see them shine on your face in time. Show them to me when I arrive. This dream is our life.
never need a friend I'll walk with you one last mile be there for you till the end talk to me tell me what you see whisper secrets from the other side show to me don't try to hide Wait for me When I arrive This dream Is our life This dream Is our life Come with me We'll throw our prayers over the edge of time Traded for an Indian car in five hundred dollars. It's from Spain. It was from Spain. I love it. I love getting a juju from these songwriters on that guitar. And when the guy traded it to me, he says that guitar might want to come back to me. I said, No, it won't. It won't. It's been held by too many precious hands.
the lights in my house burning Baby, a while, okay? I love your voice, Jenny Bird. I love your voice. Lord Epper. Thank you. I feel a guitar is like a baby, you know, when you first get it, you gotta give it and let it be held by people. So, Jeremy, hold that good baby a little while. Excellent. Thank you, Susan. It was ironic because I just sent him on a piece of paper and he took it from there. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can match it up. I don't think I can. We'll, we'll, we'll give you some cover. Draw him up. What key are we in? Would it help to have more of them in your monitors? Because you can get them, you know, you can match it up. Well, I've been waiting all day for the night. We had a party and we just about danced till the morning light. Now I'm blazing with my baby, I'm feeling fine. And I'm waiting all day for the night. You know, you know, when you're doing it right, when everybody is setting their side. Doing it. 
career. Richard's back to work here. All right, decide which one of my which one of my songs fits over the song down there. years. That's a pretty good run. I'm very happy. I'm thankful for that. Uh, we were together for 34 years and for 17 of those years, the first 17, we had a bass player named John Hayward. And uh, for the second 17 years, we had other bass players, wonderful bass players, but John Hayward was my dear friend and I wrote the song for him when he passed away. It's called I'm With You Always and it's, for me I, often I write songs and try to put in the song what I want to hear back to me so this is part of the this song is him giving me the message that I need and part of it's me sending back the message to him. Circle is complete. You will go where I have gone and I'll wait patiently. I'm with you always. We will always be.
about how I might have had some, something to do with igniting the beginning of, of things like that. But, you know, there was a spark, but um, the powder that blew up into this right here is Jeff Perea. everybody of course for showing up so early and actually being able to sing and be so great. Um, um, so I've been hanging up. I, our family's originally from Nashville, my mother and father and all the grandparents and so on and so forth. And so there's a house there and I, I've been hanging out there and, and uh, of course we never we would go there every Christmas and hang out and so on and so forth, but we never really had anything to do with the music deal, and we still don't. Except for our association with Jim Lauderdale, who was, who was flown back there. But anyway, so we, but it's interesting, my, my sister Lucy uh, said she, she was in a coffee shop and there was this song um, of Mount of the Buffaloes playing on the radio, and uh, I think it was a, a song called uh, and Garden of Eden, and, and I, I said, I said to her, how did it sound? And she said, well, I, I couldn't hear anything really particular about it, but it sounded really important. <laughs> but anyway, so I started kind of, there, there's something, uh, writing a bunch of songs that are, that are, and I think I've written a lot of songs that are, hardly understandable, you know, maybe to just a very small segment of folks that might pay attention quite that much. So anyway, so we've been writing songs in Nashville, and the good thing about writing songs in Nashville, at any other town when you start writing a bad song, you're supposed to stop. In Nashville, keep writing. But anyway, this is a song that I was fooling around with, and then Gregor was good enough to come up with the rest of it. We really started finishing our half-written songs together. It was, it's been really fun. Anyway, this one's called Beer's Boss. Gregor's gonna sing it. I'm just ordering everybody around, I'm sorry. <laughs> Beer is boss on the weekend. Beer is 
baseball summer green. Beer is boss around Christmas and celebrate God in my own way. There's party lights on the Freedom Bridge with a few come across. Just don't call me and go work on the day when the beer is boss. Cause no can do what this can do and this can do is the hoss. And don't call me and go work on the day when the beer is boss. My friend asked me about gravity What makes it snow? Said I'm sorry Stan I ain't your man There's only three things I know I am American and our flag is pretty high Oh bear hops And don't call me To work on the day when the beer is boss Cause beer is boss on the weekend Beer is boss on the birthday Beer is boss around Christmas And celebrate the dog in my way there's party lights on the freedom bridge when the wet beer come across. Just don't call me to work on the day when the beer is boss. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind working. It pays the bills and gets me money too. But I like to unwind when the work is through. So we have our fun, get her done, and then we're looking to get lost. Just don't call me and do it, call me when the beer is lost. Now Big Lair called me on a Saturday morning and said, Are you going to show me? No! You got me going around the tickets from across the boat, drink a beer from Mexico. Cause this here Corona, It's like drinking money <laughs> And don't call me in the work on the day when the beer is boss Cause beer is boss on the weekend Beer is boss on the birthday Beer is boss around Christmas With celebrate God in my own way There's party lights on the freedom bridge Since you have to come across Just don't call me in the work on the day when the beer is boss no can do what this can do, and this can hear the hoss. And don't call me into work all the day when the beer is boss. I said, don't call me into work all the day when the beer is boss. I said, don't call me into work all the day when the beer is boss. Thanks everybody, thank you for listening to us today. Thanks for the guitar team.